See on the interception, what uh, feedback did you get from the coaches? Really, it was just me trying to, to force some stuff in when I when it really didn't need to, to happen. Um, I was playing off that boundary safety, and he, he kind of got over top of it, so I, I didn't want to, to lob it over the linebacker. Um, and he just kind of got undercut. I, I should have just played to the corner and into the boundary, but I just kind of got too aggressive um, and kind of was playing in the moment a little bit too much. So, I mean, nothing to, to worry about, but uh, definitely one I wish I could have back. It's obviously something that you never want to happen as a quarterback, but it's something that does happen to every quarterback at every level. Is it nice to have the first one out of the way, at least? Yeah, I feel like when you get kind of deep into the season and you're week four or five, you don't have any, any interceptions, um, the word kind of lingers in the back of your head. And it could maybe cause somebody to not be as aggressive and push the ball down the field. So, I mean, like, I never want to turn the ball over and I never want to uh, put the ball in arm's way. But I mean, at the end of the day, like, uh, getting it, getting the first one kind of out of the way, I wouldn't say it's a good thing, but um, I wouldn't change, I don't change my mindset or preparation going into next week. I'm going to continue to, you know, push the ball down the field. Talk about the old line a little bit. Cooper's gone, a couple new faces. How did you feel about the guys who were blocking ahead of you? I mean, I feel like they protected really well tonight. I, I wouldn't say I was under duress um, much. I feel like the only time I was under duress, I held on to the ball um, for a, a little bit too long and was trying to pick up Jace Angle down the field and kind of got hit as I threw. But other than that, I feel like they did a really good job. Um, and I wouldn't say, uh, and, and then running the ball wise, I feel like they did a really good job in the run game and credit to them, credit to DJ and, and our other backs, Dylan and, and Joe. Um, and, and Jimmy got in the end zone for his first time tonight too. So y'all don't know how hard Jimmy works and, and how, how much he take care of, takes care of his body on a weekly basis. So being able to, to see him get his first one, it was definitely exciting um, from the sideline. But I mean, those, those guys play their butt off for me week in and week out. So I'm, I'm just excited to, to be able to, um, you know, be, able, be the quarterback for, for those five. Thanks, Dylan had just mentioned that he looked over at you at half and said, just take over. What does it mean to you to kind of, you know, have his support? I mean, really just being able to um, play with, with somebody that you are so uh, familiar and have that chemistry and are comfortable with. Um, you can kind of encourage and, and talk to each other kind of on a deeper level um, throughout the game. So being able to have him, you know, give that, that little cue to me, just, just lets him know that he trusts me and he's confident in me and it just allows me to go out there and play freely. And he had mentioned that he kind of shook off some nerves too. Um, especially there in the second half. Was it cool to see him, you know, pop off? Yeah, and I, I feel like Dylan plays with a, a lot of emotion and being able to, him be able to utilize that, and I wouldn't say it's in a bad way, like he just has a lot of passion for the game. And you can see it out there when he plays, like he's like an electrifying player. He runs the ball hard, and whenever he has the ball in his hands, it's like the first person very rarely tackles him. And you saw that from the first play of the game. So. Just being able to see him get comfortable and settled in and just being able to get him the ball in space, that was our, our biggest thing going into the week. When did you feel like you kind of got in a groove? Because I know it was a little bit of a slower start. I feel like the whole first half was kind of slow. Like we had our ups and we had our downs. And I feel like in the second half, we kind of got things rolling. And coming off, we were expecting to get the ball. We don't get the ball, so you kind of have to sit a little bit. I feel like our second half looked a lot better than our first half did. And, and just offensively, I feel like we were more more collective and more together, and we had a little bit more energy. So maybe it was just the first game or, or whatever. Maybe it was just because we came out kind of flat. But I definitely feel like we kind of found our group in the second half. When the defense is playing like it did in the first half, how much of a luxury was that for you to, to actually say, OK, they've got this part of the game. I can settle down. Yeah, being able to have an experience um, defense like we do and being able to trust those guys to, to not give up anything. And I think they gave up six points tonight. One was on my interception and one was on a, a fumbled kickoff. So that's that's on us offensively. And we just have to be, be better in that aspect to, to take care of the football. And I have to be better in that aspect to not put them in any bad situations. But whenever it was a, a punt, a kickoff, or a touchdown or whatever, they did their job. And it just allows me to go out there and, you know, kind of relax and be able to settle into the game.